Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Lesson number one in electrical test prep. Scope. What is scope? Basically, it's what is covered by the National Electrical Code code book and what is not covered. So, let's get started. What is covered is public and private premises, houses, warehouses, storage units, public parks, walkways, mobile homes, yards, parking lots, carnivals, office buildings, garages, industrial shops, recreation buildings, recreational vehicles, and floating buildings. I would like to take a moment to tell you that this is not verbatim out of the code book. I'm using my own words and telling it the way that I interpret it so it's easier for you to understand because sometimes they get a little technical. So, as we said, what's not covered? And that would be ships, watercraft, railway rolling stock, which would be the actual rail cars, aircraft, cars and trucks, underground mining installations, and in some cases mobile mining machinery that's connected to the underground portion of the mining installation. Railway power for rail cars and railway communications equipment. Communication company buildings under direct control of that company, such as your local cable provider, or a hub that only the communication company has sole access to. Other exemptions are power companies, substations, service drops or service laterals. Uh, a service drop or service lateral is the actual wire that feeds to your meter. Any property owned or leased by the power company used for metering power or communications. Buildings that are operated by utility or public service commissions that have a written agreement for such exemptions. Milita military bases and military constructions are strictly controlled by the military. Buildings that fall under the jurisdiction of the Department of Indian Affairs. Uh, that would be a reservation. Harbors or ports under the jurisdiction of the Port Authority. Not mentioned in the NEC is nuclear power plants. You will not find it in any code book. These installations are governed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Well, that pretty much covers it. And basically, in a nutshell, if it's public or private, and it's not under any special authority, then the NEC has jurisdiction over it, and it's law, which means you have to stringently adhere to the code book. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.